Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about very important Java entry question. What is a transient variable in Java? You know that there is a process called serialization where you convert, you, where you can convert an object into a stream of bytes and you can store that stream of bytes into a flat file for later use. In that process, if you want to skip for any attribute, the serialization process you can mark it as transient. That means whenever you, whenever you create an object with these three attributes and store it in a flat file, the attribute that is marked as transient will not be involved in this serialization process. I'll show you an example so that you can understand. A transient variable is a variable that may not be serialized. If you don't want some field to be serialized, you can mark that field be transient or static. Let's run this program so that you can understand. So I'm going to serialize it. So I'm going to create an object. I'm going to set this value. See this is very important. Total employees 100. So I'm going to write these three attributes in a this object in a flat file. Since this total employees is marked as transient, this 100 will not be stored in the flat file. That's what we need. We want to skip the process of serialization for this particular employee, a total employee, because that's why I am marked as transient. So transient means it will not be involved. Let's see serialize and deserialize. So serialization is done. So I'm going to deserialize now. I'm going to read. Deserialization means from the flat file, I'm going to read the state of that object. I'm going to convert that file. I'm I have read from the file and I'm going to read. Can you see here? This is one, two, three, four coming properly for the employee number and employee name. Johnny is coming properly. For this total employees, I'm expecting zero because if it is coming as hundred, we are storing the data. Storing data. I, I'm expecting zero because I have marked this as transient. It should not be involved in the serialization process. So zero. So that means transient is working properly. So whenever you make an attribute as transient and it is involved in the serialization process, a particular attribute will not be involved in the serialization process, whereas other attribute will be involved in the serialization process. So if you don't want some field to be serialized, you can mark the field as transient or static. Hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation. Thank you and all the best for your interview. Thank you.